Welcome to another GED video. Um, we are very excited to be here today. If today is your first time of watching any of our videos, we encourage you to watch all previous videos. We have looked at some very important we have topics. We've looked at some geometry things that um, are marvelous if you get to know how to solve them the easy way. We've looked at um, some word problems. We've looked at some proportion percentages. We've looked at a lot of things in our previous videos. So if today is your first time, we encourage you to watch all previous videos and we encourage you to also subscribe to all um, to this channel and um, keep on coming here because we post new videos every single day. Okay, now today we are going to look at, um, we are number 51, okay, we are going to look at um, something that is also very important in um, geometry. Um, normally when it comes, it has like um, two, of, two to four questions with it and this is um, the mean, median, mode and range, okay. So, um, let me erase this. Okay, so we have this numbers. So we have um, four, five, two, um, six, seven, nine, and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we have the seven numbers. Okay, so for our question number 51, we are asked to find the mean for 52 we are asked to find the mode and for 53 we are asked to find the median oh and then for 54 let me write it here we are asked to find the range okay so if you have a question like this, um, before you even do anything, especially when you have the mode and median, and the first thing I will encourage you is to arrange them, okay? So you arrange them in an order. That's, an, I mean, ascending order, okay? So we, that's what we are going to do first. So we are going to, two, two, the twos are the smallest. I'm going to write them here. I know it's going to be. So we have two. Two. Um, we have four. Um, five. Six. Seven. And nine. Okay, so I have arranged them. That's the first thing we encourage you to do. I'm gonna erase this and then write the arrange form up here. Okay, so that we have more space to write. Okay, so I'm gonna take all these out. And I'm just going to write the arranged form up here. So we had um, 2, 2, 4, and 5, 6, 7, and then 9. Okay, so this is what we had. Okay, now to find the mean, the mean is the same as finding the average, okay? So what we do is to find the mean, you just add everything that you have. That is 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5. Let me write it. So we have 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9. Okay. So you add all these and divide it by the number of terms. Okay. So how many terms? We have 1. Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. Okay. So you divide it by the number of terms, which is 7. Okay, okay, so when we add everything here, um, up here, we are going to get 35, okay? So it's going to be 35 over 7. Okay, and then we do the division, 35 divided by 7 is 5, okay? So we are going to get our mean to be 5. Let me use blue too. So our mean is 5. Okay, so the mean is the average. You just have to remember what all this means, okay? Mean is average. So you add everything and divide it by the number of terms, okay? So that's, I mean, the number of um, objects or things that you have, okay? So we are done with the mean. Okay, now the mode 
is the item with the highest frequency okay so the one that i mean repeats itself the most okay so the mode here is um only is two okay two happens two times okay so that's the mode okay that's the only thing that happens so the one that happens a lot that'll be your mode so here is two okay now the median is really the middle number okay if you arrange them in an order the middle number so we have one two three things here and then we have one two three things here so five is the middle number okay so that will be your median okay so median is simply the middle number okay now the range now when you want to find the range you're going to subtract the biggest number which here is nine minus the smallest number which is two okay so when you do that subtraction whatever you get is your range so here our range will be seven when we do the subtraction okay so that's pretty much about it now let's look at there's something um sometimes you get a median let me erase this let me erase this and just look at something very simple there are a few times or sometimes you get um let's say you have two um seven eight and let's say um nine mm. okay let me use something that can easily be worked out okay oh it don't matter okay so here you realize that we have um an even number of things one two three four okay so we will have two numbers in the middle okay so the median will actually be six and eight okay so what we do when we have two numbers in the middle is that we add those two numbers so six plus eight and then divide those two numbers by two okay so that's what we do so if you have an i mean a number that's like between then you can add the two numbers and divide it by two so here we are going to get six plus eight which is 14 divided by two which is seven okay so the median in this particular question will be seven okay so there are times where you have two numbers you just add the two numbers and divide it by two in order to get the actual median okay so that's pretty much what there is when we want to look at um the mean mode uh, median and then the range questions like that comes all the time but there's one more let me erase everything here there's one kind of question that usually come when um, you are dealing with word problems, okay? And they can tell you something like, I'm not going to write the whole thing. They will, let me, uh, uh, 54. Okay, say you are told, um, let's say Michael has a test score, okay? His first test score, um, he had the first one to be 90, um, 98. He had a second test score to be 94 and his third test score was 97 okay now then you ask a question like if he wants to average or he wants his average um test score to be um 95 okay that's the average that then we ask what must be his score on the fourth test okay so uh, michael john or whatever name they give to you or whatever however they want to go about it and they said the person um had his first three test scores were His first three test scores were 98, 94, 97, right? Now, when you have a question like this, it's still an average question, okay? So we know how to find average, right? When you're finding the average, we said you add all the terms, right? And divide it by the number of terms, okay? To get the average. Okay, now here you have a fourth score that you don't know. So you're going to represent the fourth score that he must obtain as x and that will give him the average of 95 
okay and then we said when we are finding average what you add the terms and divide it by the number of terms so here we have four i mean four numbers okay okay so so this is the setup now questions like this come all the time i mean they look hard but they are they are also very simple okay so all you have to do here is to add all this um i don't have a calculator with me um, let me let me look for let me take one real quick so when you add um 98 plus 94 plus 97 you will get um to 89 okay so you're gonna have 289 plus x all over 4 equals 95 okay so your next thing is of course you are now going to solve for x okay let me let me change it to black okay so you multiply through by um the four to get rid of this four okay so now you have 289 plus x equals you multiply this to get um 380 okay so to solve for the x now you subtract um 289 from both sides this will cross out there so now x will be equal to 91 so this is basically what it is so um john or wherever um, the name is given um, must make a test score of 91 in order to get an average of 95 okay this is one kind of question that shows up and uh, we'll end this particular video here um tomorrow we'll be looking at um more kind of word problems we're looking at consecutive numbers and other things that also show up in gd a lot okay if you haven't subscribed please subscribe watch all our previous videos and see you tomorrow have a great day bye bye